Welcome one and all, Physically Debunked here, and as usual, I'll be talking about science, atheism, and religion. I'm sure the title of this video has already set some viewers on the path to giving it a dislike, but hold your fire. Allow me a chance to explain myself. I'll start by telling you what this video isn't. It isn't going to be an argument that science makes everyone who understands it an atheist. It isn't going to say that religious people can't be good scientists, and it isn't going to claim that only atheism is compatible with science. What this video will be about are the possible reasons for the fact that scientists are less religious than the general population. To begin, I should support this claim. In 2016, a study was conducted on the religious attitudes of scientists internationally. Eight countries with varying degrees of religiosity, secularity, and levels of scientific infrastructure were selected. The study's results are pretty conclusive. In the majority of cases, the general population is significantly more religious than the scientific community. There are some interesting exceptions to this rule. The results are pretty close in Taiwan, and in Hong Kong the relationship is totally reversed. It would be illuminating to dig deeper into the details of these cases, but these seem to be exceptions that prove the rule. If you pull all this data together, taking into account the population of each country, you find that while 73% of the total population of these countries identifies as religious, a mere 42% of the scientists in these countries identify themselves as religious. There's sure to be some interesting details in these statistics and a wider survey would certainly yield more insight, but the obvious conclusion is clear. Scientists are significantly less religious than general populations. Now that the evidence has hopefully established this for you, the interesting question is, why? In addition to asking about scientists' religious affiliations, the study also looked at the perceived conflict between science and religion, and whether science itself made people less religious. If you combine all the data, about 16% of scientists said that science had made them much less religious. This may not seem like a very large percentage, but it could go some way to explaining the 30% difference in religiousness between the public and scientists. Something about science leads a decent number of people to abandon religious practice, but this alone doesn't fully explain why scientific communities are as irreligious as they are. A more recent study published at the end of 2018 found that religiosity predicts negative attitudes towards science and lower levels of scientific literacy. In layman's terms, it found that people who are more religious tend to take a dimmer view of science and its importance. It seems to me then that there are two key factors which may explain why scientific communities are less religious than the general public. On the one hand, science leads some people to become less religious. On the other, people who are very religious are less likely to view science as important, and so less likely to become scientists in the first place. Science makes some people less religious, and religion makes some people less scientific. How can we explain both of these things? At the end of the day, both science and religion are making claims about the way the world is. A lot of the time they may focus on very different aspects of the world. Science tends to focus on the physical behaviour of material objects. Religion talks more about spiritual and ethical matters. But that doesn't mean that there isn't any overlap. The undeniable fact that certain battles are being fought on this overlap means that this overlap certainly does exist. You don't need to look hard to find groups of people who deny the validity of science when it conflicts with their religious beliefs. Take young earth creationists, or evolution denying intelligent design proponents. Both science and religion clearly overlap on matters of origins, be they cosmic or biological. Both provide an account of how the universe and humans originated. Whether these accounts actually conflict is a matter of interpretation, but there's no denying that plenty of people adopt interpretations of scripture, which means that there is indeed conflict. The fact that there is ground for these conflicts could be a big reason for why scientific communities are less religious. If religious people take the side of religion in matters of conflict, they're much less likely to see science as a worthwhile enterprise, and so much less likely to become scientists in the first place. On the flip side, scientists are obviously very likely to take science seriously, and so if they do think that there's conflict between science and religion, they're going to side with science. That this makes them less religious is a logical consequence. If you think that science is the best path to truth, and you think that there is conflict between science and religion, it is going to make you doubt the validity of religious doctrine. This hypothesis is backed up by data collected on the other question that was asked in the first study I mentioned. When scientists were asked whether they thought there was a conflict between science and religion, those who thought there was overwhelmingly sided with science. Something, however, that would seem to disagree with my hypothesis is the fact that around half of the scientists in the study thought that science and religion were independent of each other. Most scientists don't think there is a serious conflict between science and religion. 
While this may be the case, the question I've been asking in this video is why the scientific community is less religious than the general public. This isn't a video about whether there really is a conflict between science and religion, although personally I think there is. Whether or not there actually is a conflict is irrelevant here. Half of scientists may think that there isn't a conflict between science and religion, but whether or not they're right, it doesn't mean that there aren't a significant number of people who do think there is conflict, and it's these people who are a likely explanation for why the scientific community is less religious. All in all, I think the data offers support to the conclusion that scientific communities are less religious than the general public because of the perceived areas of conflict between science and religion. Religious people who think there's a conflict will take the side of religion, and so are less likely to become scientists. Scientists who think there's a conflict will take the side of science, and so are less likely to be religious. If this is indeed the reason, then I expect that the religiousness of scientists will only decrease in the near future. As science explores more, it inevitably opens up new areas of overlap between itself and religion. Abiogenesis, the existence of a multiverse, a science and morality are all capable of overlapping with religion and conflicting with religious interpretations. The more science grows, the more it will conflict with religion, and the more irreligious scientists will become. What I've just said though assumes that new scientific findings will conflict with religious claims, but obviously there's no need for this to be true. It's perfectly conceivable that new findings will actually concur with religious doctrine. But the fact that there are already perceived areas of conflict should be a big warning light for religion. If religious claims were correct, then why would science ever conflict with them? Surely science should always support religion if its doctrines were true. Even if not everyone agrees that science necessarily conflicts with religion, the fact that there are a large number of people who do perceive conflict is surely worrying for religion and suggests that future scientific discoveries will only generate more areas of perceived conflict. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you found this discussion both interesting and balanced. Please like and subscribe for more science, atheism, physics, philosophy and stuff. <laughs>